Hi everybody, Chris Fian here from the ECG Armory. We're basically in the final stages here and I wanted to take it outside out of the basement to show you everything that we have laid out here and how we're going to do the final assembly and uh, sizing of the armor, make sure it all fits appropriately. Over here on the table I have all the parts laid out. I've already assembled with the straps the system and you can see the different connection points from the forearm to the shoulder bell, from the shoulder bell to the bell and then from the bell to the shoulder strap and that's all going to be like one hanging part that's going to be on one arm and then the other one's going to be on the other arm. I also did put on some of the padding as I said. I did put in some initial padding in the legs. We're going to see how the legs shape out and if I need additional padding I have that ready with a pair of scissors that I can cut off another chunk of this um, foam and put it in the leg in an appropriate spot that it keeps it nice and tight. Over here I have my suitcase that I'm going to store the armor in and transport it in and I've put on all my straps now I just have to assemble everything together so basically for the final assembly I'm just snapping these snap uh, straps into the armor in the appropriate places so that it all fits as it all becomes one solid piece so let me start snapping these in into the different snap plates you can see there, that's the chest, and now we're going to put the back on. This is the butt plate. We're going to snap on these side straps. And usually I wouldn't do this, usually I'd leave this entire thing connected, but because it's the first time I wanted to just show you the assembly from soup to nuts. So I'm snapping at all the snaps, you can see all the, the uh, snaps there. I'm going to do the same on this side. Snap them all into my snap plates that we already pre-glued in there. And the beauty of this is it holds it all together perfectly so that it's all going to stay together. Okay, and now the two back straps. This one here. And this one over here. Okay. Now we have to put the belt on. And there's just the two snaps. I already have that snap on. I'm just going to put the second snap on. We made this very tight, so I just have to stretch it a little bit and get that snap in there. And the other one's holding, which is great. So basically now we have this all as one big piece. This entire midsection is one big piece, all strapped together, it's all hung together. And I'm going to be basically slipping this on um, when I get into it. So I'm going to unstrap this one side, like so, and I'm going to take off the strap system I have here with the Velcro and the snap underneath. And when I'm ready, I'm going to slip into this from the side, so I'm just going to slip my body in there. But before I do that, you have to do the legs first. So I'm going to get up, come over here, I'm going to take off my shoes, I already have my undersuit on, and I'm just going to put the legs on. Now I put that foam there, and as you can see, the legs, when I put them on, will just stay in that position temporarily because I got that foam there, so they're just going to just float there. Then you put on the shoes. And then I put on the shins. Now make sure you put the left one, of course, with the sniper plate on the left leg. I'm gonna undo the Velcro on the back. Get that open. Put a lot of Velcro so it's nice and holding very well and I overlap it the opposite way so I can slip my foot in so I can pull it over my foot leg here hold on then I go to the back and I secure that in the back as tight as I can there we go and I'll do the other leg carefully do under the velcro the whole way up and then just carefully pull it over your leg. And 
then close the Velcro in the back. Okay, just line that up. Make sure it's lined up appropriately. There we go. Okay, so got the legs on, got that on, and now the next part is this, and this is the tricky bit. You have to do this and kind of slip into it sideways. I just see one of my snaps popped off. Let me just make sure that that's on appropriately. Hold on. One of the snaps that come loose here. Okay, now again, I'm going to carefully lift this up. And I'm going to slip into it from the side. Okay, so you can see I just kind of slipped into the whole thing. I'm going to reach below here while I still have it open and grab that strap by the crotch area and snap that into the snap in the back. Because right now I have the flexibility to do that. Once I put it on, it's not going to be that easy. Okay, now I just have to reach over here and grab my three straps and snap them into the snaps. So that could be a little challenging as well, but hopefully I'll be able to do that. Just have to feel for the three straps and then get them into the snap plates on the side here. I should have done the front ones, I just realized. Which is going to make it difficult. Hold on. I'm going to reach that over, get that a little closer. I can see where I'm snapping. one and get the next one make sure I'm getting the right one that's the one for the leg let me get this one snapped in just have to find the snap plate I feel it over here this is going to be a little bit of work to get that in. Okay. I just got the two in, but that's good for now. Okay, now I'm going to do the belt around the back. I just try to line it up with my hands and try to do it as evenly as I can. the velcro and then I'm going to put my thermal detonator on the back that might be a little messy I think I'm going to have to as you can see I've got to tighten up the belt a little so that's one one piece I'm going to have to work on because this belt's a little loose I'm going to have to tighten up this belt a little bit because even at its maximum it needs a little more space now, the next thing I do before I put the gloves on is do this strapping here. This can be difficult to do blind, but I'm going to do the best I can here. You have to basically just put this all back together. So I'm going to put the strap out. This is the strap for the shoulder belt. I'm going to grab the snap part. I'm just going to blindly just feel my way to where the snap is snap that in and then just put this down in the velcro okay so now we're pretty much fully in the costume the only thing I got to do now is connect these legs to these snaps down here these will hold them up nicely and keep them in line with the rest of the armor we'll find this snap plate here Make sure that's the right one. Yeah, that's it. Hold on. Just gotta pull it down. Snap that into the snap plate there. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. So far, I don't think I'll need padding on the legs. The legs feel pretty good right at this point. I'm able to get some good movement. I'm able to turn it. And you can see this moved up. And I think we had talked in the last video about with these legs putting a snap plate in the front of the uh, front of the uh, shoe to stop exactly what just happened there. I'm going to have to do that to keep that down. But I'll work on that later as well. And okay, now the last part here 
for the main body is the arms. And these you just put on like, like uh, sleeves. I'm gonna push down on that padding, stick that on, work this up my, my uh, bicep, and then snap this in. I'm gonna feel around for the snap plate and snap it in. So there we go. Now I got my arm on and the bicep and the bell all in one shot. It just goes on like a sleeve. I'm gonna line that up, make sure it's all lined up. You wanna make sure that this line lines up all the way down the arm and we're looking good. I'm gonna do the same on the other arm. Put my hand through again like a sleeve while I work this other part up. Get that lined up, make sure this is lined up, and then get the strap. Get the strap to plug into the strap plate on the shoulder bell right here. Okay, so we're almost there. The only last thing we've got to do is do the uh, gloves and the helmet. I'm going to take my blaster here, put that in the pouch. I'm going to put my gloves on and my hand plates. So these are the super uber accurate gloves and I put these on last because again, once you put these on, you really can't do much of anything else. They basically make you uh, useless. So I do these as the very last step and just tuck them into the uh, forearms. You put these in nice and tight, you tuck in the excess into the forearm. Make sure there's no logo showing, make sure you get all the excess in there. And I'll do the left one now. Okay, again, I'm just tucking this into the floor, making sure I get all the logo and anything that's on this glove tucked away in there. And that the glove is going to stay nice and secure. Okay, that's looking good too. So now we got our gloves on, our hand plates on. on first and then I put the middle part of the hand on. Again, once you have these gloves on, it's very hard to work with them. I'm just wiggling. Oop, I snapped off the snaps. Hold on one second. Gotta get those snaps back in the snap place. They usually hold on pretty well, but I think I just pulled them too hard. Get the back snap plate on there too. Hold on. Of course, if the snap just had to pop off while I had these gloves on, I can't do anything. So let me just take this off and put the snaps back on. See the snaps? There's three snaps in the snap plate two on the top and one on the back. And I just manipulated a little too much and actually took the snap off. Just pull that off. Snap that on and try that again. Okay, I'll snap that back on and try not to use as much force this time getting this on the wrist. Here we go. Again, that's what I don't like about these gloves. They're very hard to uh, maneuver and work with. Once you have them on, you're pretty much uh, useless which is why, again, I put them on last. That way you can do all the snaps and everything while you don't... <sighs> of course, I just did it again. Oh, that one I got it back on. I just wanted it. 
Usually I can get these on pretty easily, but this today it's giving me a problem. So I can snap that back on, got it. Okay, let me get that a little further down. That a little further down and make sure this is all tucked in. Okay, now the very final step. We've got everything on. Everything's in its right place. I just have to fix this one part of the boot here. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Here we go. And we'll get the helmet on. Okay, and there you have it, guys. That's the fully finished costume, and as you can see, it's really shiny. After I did the polish on it, it moves really well. I can move around in it, move my arms, move my legs without too much um, problem. And it all stays together with all the straps and other pulley systems and padding that I have throughout the armor. You can even use the, um, the side arm here. You can grab the gun. Let me see if I can grab mine over. I think I was flopping down a little there. And that's what the finished outfit looks like. Now again, I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to work on that. As you can see, the belt is way too loose. So I'm gonna have to work with that, put the Velcro on a little tighter. And that's probably the only major adjustment that I'm going to have to make on the armor, which is great, is just redo the belt measurement, make sure the belt. Now, of course, I can't get that because <laughs> it fell down, but I will after we're finished with the video. Hi, this is Chris Van again. This is take two of the Shadow Trooper final fit out and reveal uh, for our ECG armory series. Uh, as you saw in the last video, as I was doing my test fitting, we did notice that the belt was way too small. Uh, I'm sorry, too big. It was 52 inches. After I had everything lined up and ever, after I got everything suited on, I realized I needed to take a lot off the belt. I ended up taking off about three inches so that now the thermal detonator is secure on the back and it doesn't flop around. It doesn't fall off. It keeps the gun nice and secure so the gun doesn't flop and doesn't fall out. You can see up here in the video I have in the corner over here, you'll see me doing some of that uh, cutting and I ended up gluing some fabric Velcro, the hook side and the loop side on the belt and cutting off three inches of the belt to get it to fit just right so that it's nice and snug and keeps that thermal detonator just right. I also added in the very tippy top of the uh, shins, I added some Velcro to the tops of the boots to keep the shins from moving up and down. That is absolutely critical because as you walk in this, the shins will tend to move up and down and sometimes they'll come out of the boot and you can get tripped, tripped up by that. You can fall downstairs. It can be messy. So you try to make sure you put some kind of Velcro in the very top of the shin that's connected to the boot. I may come up with a little better solution, maybe use a snap, but I like the, the Velcro because you can get it just right and get it to stay in that area. Um, the only other thing I think I forgot to mention was the uh, baklava. This is another item that you should have for a Shadow Trooper. It just makes it look a little cleaner and you don't see your chin under the helmet. And it just finishes off the whole look. I also got my gloves on. I got everything on now. I've done my fitting and now I'm gonna take my pictures. And I'll show you some of the pictures at the end of this video. What I've used here is just a green screen. I use this green screen with my Zoom calls on my Zoom meetings. I have it hung up here and it makes the pictures come out a little better and it makes it easier for you to cut out yourself from the background if you want to do trading cards or do other funny things and add funny backgrounds behind you or cool backgrounds, using a green screen when you're taking the pictures makes it a lot easier to edit those photos. And it makes them a little cleaner for the uh, GMLs in the 501st to look at your pictures and judge the costume itself without being distracted by the background. So try to use a green screen if you can or use a very blank background. And what we do is we stand in front of the screen and take it from the front with the gun out if you have a weapon or with your hands at your side and try to lift up your arms, move your arms around, show the sides, 
show just about every angle of the costume to give the GMLs a good indication of every single uh, angle of the costume itself so that they can judge it appropriately and give you any feedback that you might need to improve to make it approvable. Uh, right now, I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get my pictures taken. I'll add them to the end of this video along with um, a, a video of me suiting down just as, so you see the process and how I fit it in my suitcase. And again, thank you everybody for joining me on this journey for my Shadow Trooper. It's been uh, 22 episodes now and it's been a journey, but it's been fun uh, having you with me and hopefully this will help inspire and, and uh, give you some uh, information on how something like this comes together. So thanks everybody for joining us and we'll see you next time on the ECG Armory. Thank you.